when you have mold like we have on that upper roof right there, you had a had the moisture getting inside the scrim and it was growing inside the scrim but not coming all the way through the roof. Uh, what, a, what has happened on a, uh, on a white roof, uh, that mold that is growing on that roof in particular, it's growing up and you're seeing all the little mold spores are uh, growing up and through the little in, in the top side of the roof. Well the same thing happens on a white roof here in northern climates. You have uh, your metal deck or whatever substrate you have for a, a roof deck and you have insulation and you have your roof that sits on top of it. If you have a black roof, the dew point collection will happen somewhere in the middle of the uh, uh, insulation and therefore the condensation won't be closest to the uh, top side of the roof. On a cool roof or a white roof, you'll have the moisture that comes in the, in the roof, whether it be in, in, the, in the building or in the membrane somewhere in the membrane itself or the condensation point will be in the, in the insulation. It'll come closest to that bottom side of the cool roof and condensate. That's why when you walk on a, uh, uh, a, a white roof in the winter, you'll hear it crunching and cracking. And that's because it's pulling that moisture all the way up and condensating and then freezing on the bottom side. Industry publications support the findings that condensation is a problem with white roofs. They recommend that in the Chicago area, such construction should be built with a dark surface to avoid damage from accumulating moisture. Well, that it in itself is starting to melt and then it creates moisture on the bottom side and you'll have a great recipe, as you can see up there, for mold spore. You have moisture and darkness, both. And that's going to create mold spore, not on the top side, but on the underside. And that's an issue that uh, we're about ready to see and explode in the uh, roofing industry uh, in the northern climates.